Greetings, Mazanda Wana. The Yellow Corner is back, and this time we bring you the preview of our first league home match of the season as we host TS Galaxy on Wednesday night at half past seven at Loftus Fersfeld. Ndogish, how are you? I'm not even on right now. No, man, I'm, I'm good, good. I'm good, good, man. Yeah, this episode is proudly sponsored by uh, Puri Solutions, a solar solutions company which offers various solar products. Uh, their services include installation and maintenance. So, yeah, get yourself a UPS to watch your beloved Masanda Wanal Hanal Load Shading, and you can make it to the stadium, man. You can find them on Twitter at Puri Solutions. So, yeah. Get in touch with them, Balsat, Tega, UPS, and other different safe solar services that they offer. A hello, complete, hello, rock and all, escom on Twitter. Great start to the season, Jogish. Yeah, no, great start against a, a, a tough side. Uh, kept a clean sheet, and he managed to to score a, a two goals. As much as our first half performance in a C shop, you could tell that it was the first game of the season, but I think second half, uh, we came out as a better team and we managed to score a, a two goals within a short space of time. Yeah, man, that's what a, 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 a champions do, man. Uh, they don't necessarily have to play well uh, for them to get a result. So, yeah, man, off to a really good start of the season. And like you said, keeping a clean sheet, scoring two goals away from home versus a really tough side, man. Yeah, uh, couldn't have asked for a better start, man. But yeah, we we playing another match on Wednesday. We hosting TS Galaxy, like I said. Uh, perhaps a few seasons ago, two two seasons ago, we had a great start. Regile Chiefs at home, away, away. And then I can't remember our next game, but it was on a Wednesday, and we played a nearly draw. So TTM. TTM, TTM. So yeah, man, one really hopes so, uh, 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 it doesn't happen like uh, that again, you know, like we build from the good start that we've had, man. Like uh, TS Galaxy, we've played them four times, we've beaten them four times, they've never scored against us. Do you think it will change this coming Wednesday? I think it will be difficult for them to score against us. And uh, I've watched their game against Amazon. I think uh, they, they have a good squad, the defense, the middle field. But in attack, I think they need to uh, sign a, 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 a number nine that will, that will score goals for them. And Motelo Honeking, they will rely on them. And also uh, their decision-making and their uh, poor passing accuracy in the last third, I think they will never cover time. And you're up against a team of uh, they don't they won't offer you a lot a lot of spaces to, to, to punish. So those small chances that you get, I think they should uh, try to get something out of them. But it will be difficult for them to score against Mamuli Sundowns. Yeah man, I fully agree in terms of them needing a proper Number nine, uh, uh, they, they they miss someone like Chili Quem, you know. But yeah, we'll get into that as we uh, uh, talk more about uh, what we expect from this game. Um, last season they finished thirteenth on the log. Um, what do you think their goal will be for uh, the current season, or what do you, what do you think their goal is for this uh, uh, season? I think it will be maybe fighting for the top eight, but uh, it will be very tough. It will be very tough because of, look at the, the signings that were made by uh, other teams. I think it will be tough for them maybe to, to work very hard as a team and also uh, maybe maybe to add some certain players here and there so that they boost their squad. And last season, there were four points uh, behind the relegation zone and that is very worrying and they would want to improve and be far away from the uh, relegation zone because of four points from the relegation zone it tells you that uno sete hanyane robe class and compete uh, uh, for the uh, to to for to compete in a relegation zone no more fat yeah man they they average the point a game last season so i think that's one thing that they will look to uh, improve on you know uh, I'm sure uh, Kima, a team would also want them to 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 participate in the top eight 
next season. So I think that's their main goal. Yeah, but I think their main goal is definitely to do better than they did last season and not uh, uh, find themselves fighting relegation towards uh, the end of the season. But the one thing that I think they need to improve on for this to happen, get a, a, a discipline. Uh, they had the most red cards last season. And uh, you, if you get a red card every uh, now and again, there's no way you will uh, be able to, 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 to get uh, the maximum points that you need, you know, to, to maybe win the league. I'm not I'm not saying they're competing for the league, but I'm just making an example or to challenge for the league, to challenge for top eight, to challenge for a, 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 the, 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 the position up there, you know, you, you can't. So I think that's one thing that they need to work on. You can't keep getting uh, uh, the red card uh, now and again. And I, I know team complained about the officials last season, but lady players are high. They have to do a lot of introspection. I mean, you look at red card, uh, that Mbata got a very experienced guy who uh, uh, made two, two terrible challenges. He was lucky not to get sent off that at first technically high on Shaluli. So I think the discipline uh, will play a major role uh, uh, this season. Uh, what do we expect uh, from uh, this game in terms of, of uh, TS Galaxy? I think I expect them to be very compact and uh, not to allow Sundowns uh, space in this game. Uh, uh, well, I think they will try and keep a blanket so that Sundowns doesn't occupy uh, spaces where they will be able to head them. Then I also expect them to drop Villa uh, from this game because... Villa, when you Villa is a very good player, take nothing away from him. But Villa, when you play against a team that dominates possession, that has a majority of possession, he's not gonna offer you much because Villa wants the ball for uh, to perform well, but and he doesn't give you that out ball or a uh, how Osaka in into the opponent. You can play an out ball to him, and he will maybe uh, uh, make magic only one more. So I think. Uh, they will dominate. They will, they, they will drop Villa. I think their front three in this game, it it, it will be Mbata, Mfano uh, and uh, Potomo. The reason I think they will go with this, it's because I think they will look to play in transition and find spaces uh, behind our defense and use uh, the, one of Freyal Tiers and Downs, which is shockingly a uh, uh, rest defense uh, of our rest defense not late towards the end of last season i was not happy with it late this season i'm still not happy with it so maybe they will look to use uh, the long ball and then uh, use pace here those three guys like city tried to do on friday especially on a uh, uh, mayo side Robo, Robo. Uh, 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 so i think that's what they will look to do and i think they'll try and get a uh, obas as much as or on the ball as possible because I think he's a really brilliant player. He's very good uh, on the ball. I think he's, I think he's their best player actually. I think uh, he's he's their best player. And the one thing Kaka Obas, Hali Kamo writing as an eight Kamo writing, he just does he doesn't doesn't just stay Kamo writing. He moves around. He's always you know I keep playing really as a having a a a ball. He always. Once, once ball or like we enjoy into a, a, a ball or I don't expect Munya Ile see that to overlap in this game because, like I said, I expect them to be compact so they wouldn't want to leave the spaces behind a, 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 a themselves. A, 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 a and then the another thing that you, you mentioned earlier on their decision making, their decision making is absolutely shocking, especially in the final third in the 18th area. So I'd like to think of uh, their coach in the next few days before the game. That's one of the things that he will work on more uh, 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 more I I think first of all, uh, they want to be solid at the back. Uh, they want to to protect their goalkeeper, obviously, and also I think in the middle field they want to compete. So I think uh, they, they they will play Bunjana. Obas and maybe Kola will start in this game and try to play the fucking one a little bit up, up front if he starts because of against Amazolo, the uh, mm -hmm. fucking one played as a number eight and I think it is an unfamiliar position for him because of a player like someone who has the skill and the intelligence to, to eliminate players. You'd want him closer to the box where he can 
create something. So I think that is what they learned against Amazon because of most of the time you'd, you'd find him uh, uh, collecting the ball from Bursinoga uh, and your experience, your, your most uh, skillful player, you'd want him closer to the box. And like you have said, uh, Sidat and uh, Munyai, but to keep it position stable. I think they will overlap when they need to, but not uh, unnecessary where they just go forward. And they will try to get the ball to Mbat as soon as possible because of they know once Mbat has the ball, uh, he can cut inside and mm. combine with one of their of offensive players, or he can make a step step over, go to the bar line and deliver a cross. So he's not a one dimensional dimensional winger who always cut inside looking for 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 for, for the uh, support of the opponent. He can take responsibility and go direct to the uh, full backs. And also, uh, I think Villa will not start in this game. But one thing that I I, I have a, a witnessed against a, a Amazon is that Villa he, he can try and hold up the ball he can stretch the the, the, the center backs out of position but you need someone who's going to run after him who's going to occupy those positions remember the position that was played by Femeno before Jota came in Femeno would uh, would play in front of the defense. You hold up the ball, then Bosala and Mane will make the runs behind the defense of the opponent. So I think if if Chess Galaxy can try to do that, have against the Villa, I think uh, they can get something. But if you're gonna rely on Villa to score goals, to great goals alone, it is a huge responsibility, and you're asking too much from him. I am glad to hear that you do watch the Mighty Reds. Yeah. The best team in the world. Uh, let's move on to Mamelodi Sundowns. Raps. Uh, expectations uh, uh, for this game. Uh, I will go first again. Uh, I expect an improved performance from Sundowns. I expect. Uh, I don't expect the best performance of the season, but I expect a like an improved performance. I don't expect to see the player. Excuse me sliding all over the place. I know the, the, it was the pitch car Friday, but yeah, no, they were sliding all over the place. And yeah, in a, it was an okay performance. It was a typical first of uh, 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 first game of the season. I am not sure if you pick this up, but in the first half, most of the time when we build up them with the two center backs uh, 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 spreading wide, Debza didn't come in between them. Debza and the center backs most of the time uh, uh, formed a triangle. And he most of the time received with his back to play. But in the second half, we changed that. We started building up uh, uh, with them. Uh, Mandela, Le, 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 Le Musa, uh, 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 opening up and then Debza coming and then uh, uh, progressing a bit with the ball. Uh, also, and I think that improved uh, 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 how uh, 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 improved us in, a, in our build-up phase because now he's facing the, 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 the game. He can yeah. see the pitch and it improved uh, progression yeah, runner with the ball. Uh, well, and it, I think that's what we need to do again on, 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 on Wednesday, continue uh, uh, with that. And then another thing, I'm not sure if you picked up Corey. I think we are playing a 4-3-3 in this game. I could be wrong. I think Neo was playing as a, a, one of the, the, the eight. Because if you looked uh, off of off, 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 uh, off the ball, Neo would uh, 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 if, if when the opposition when he had the ball, Neo would invert. And uh, uh, try to keep a shape, a sharp, or have numbers central. And then when we had the ball, Neo would come to the right. In the first 27 seconds, he was shouting at uh, Mudao to overlap, to, to go forward. Uh, and then he occupied a position there that you'd expect a, a right back to, uh, to occupy. And in him, so, in, in him doing so, Neo, he would drag the player and Hamamulatela they either make leave a uh, space for 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 Domingo Lento, le, 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 and then you have 
Mudau overlapping Liena on the right. Wow. So I think I think Neo, Neo, Neo had a brilliant game on 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 on, on Friday. Yeah. But in this game, as brilliant as he was doing that, ne, I was not happy with the performance of Kutumela. I would drop Kutumela. I would move Neo up front in, as part of the front three ne, and bring on AJ or Blesser or about to play more position uh, uh, Neo occupied in, in, in this in uh, in the previous game. Wabo. So we, when I move into uh, a, a Neo into the front three, I would expect into Yena uh, Lezwani to pick up the half spaces in that compact uh, uh, compactness that having a full move into into TS Galaxy. Wabo. And then another thing that I think we need to expect, Kita Bayauri, Sanogale, Msimamo, they are not always on the same page. Msimamo, uh, 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 at times, wabo, and wabo. So they, they, they always, wabo, they never like this. Wabo. Okay, they, 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 yeah. they, they are like this at times, but most of the time, Msimamo is uh, moving, wabo. So I think we can, we can, we can, we can, we can. Uh, exploit uh, in especially Neol in Twin Lizwani, Muni half spacing, and then Bamu Hule at the Bolong, Hava Hatla Bolong, Shalil is only left with a uh, San Ogawabo. I need Sundowns to improve their defensive uh, 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 performance on, 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 on Wednesday. I was not happy at all with our defense, particularly Warra, uh, 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 Maposa. I was not happy at all with Maposa. Maposa. Was do what was doing a lot of the total amateur in terms of the last who the principal start defending sliding. Funny enough, I was watching a video where a coach at under twelve was telling uh, the players well, the last thing that you do uh, when you defend he sliding like it's your last resort. And I felt like in, in most incidents uh, uh, on on Friday. That was my process first a a a a a a resort, you know. Like there's a ball more sliding thing. Mayo and yeah. uh, first half, second half, fully more. My when he got a yellow card, I think he, if he stays on his feet, he's able to 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 to, to, to not let Mayo pass or whatever. So I was not happy at all. Not just him, not just him. And our defensive display against a better team with better finishers, we get punished. Whatever. So yeah, when. I think, uh, look, it's still the early stages of the league and we are not a uh, free-flowing as yet. So I'd expect us to to uh, try and implement uh, the basics, try and perfect the basics, like the movement and uh, the protection of the ball and also uh, our passing accuracy because of, I believe that... Uh, Against Cape Town City, we didn't protect the ball well. Uh, Tambazano lost the ball yes. uh, in some areas. Lele, Le, Domingo, and our passing accuracy as well. Uh, it was not uh, well. So I think in this game, we'll try and, and stick to the basics and try to uh, perfect uh, the basics. And also uh, try to have try to open them with our passing angles and also our movement and we force them to go to the areas where we know that we can exploit and and punish uh, against amazon uh, when they, they, they defend the, the set pieces they don't focus on the far post they always their focus is always centrally and in the post so i think uh, against chess galaxy should target the, the, the far post and hopefully we'd get something uh, uh, from uh, the set piece uh, and another can, thing that can, can I interject another thing as you mentioned the set pieces that I forgot to mention uh, is that the zonal mark at the corner so I think this is one game we go for the uh, uh, out swingers because uh, uh, they, 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 they just into a, a, a zonal mark and we attack the ball levels. yeah sorry about that I had forgotten that yeah no and up front of the ball, uh, they don't have the aggression. They don't put the defenders under a uh, bridge. They just let the defenders to build up with ease. And against Mamlu Sundowns, if we can have a defender that advance with the ball and find those pockets, I think we can uh, we can punish them from the build up. So uh, I'm hoping that uh, our defenders uh, but, but we pick up and turn and try to take. Uh, advantage of that. Mm. Your lineup. Uh, I I I I I'll keep uh 
Ronan Williams um, that will start hopefully I, I think he will be uh, fit uh, I would still keep Musa and Mandela hopefully they, they, they will improve and uh, uh, fight and but by the short uh, this galaxy you don't get those uh, chances um, Diba I will keep him on the lineup as my left back and I will keep the same uh, 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 double six with Mukwena and Domingo. Then up front, I'd have Morena, Mayema, Zwani, and Shalulina. I, 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 I'd play Zwani slightly behind uh, 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 Shalulin as my number 10. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm keeping Williams. I'm keeping Modau. I'm bringing uh, back the rook for Mandela. I'll keep uh, Mosa. Uh, I'll bring Lyle uh, back for this game. I would have uh, come on. Uh, Mawere, uh, uh, um, uh, Le Domingo, Le Jali in my middle field, and then uh, my front three will be Neo, Shalulile, Le, Le Shika. Yeah, Shika needs to protect the ball uh, much better in this game. He, he, he was losing ball cheaply uh, in the previous game, but yeah, first game of the season, man. Uh, the prediction? I think we will win a uh, two not to hard. Who's scoring? I think Shalila will score and Zwan will definitely score again. Uh, I think we will win three I think Shalu, Zwani, as well as Musali Busa from a corner kick will score in this game. Raps on Friday, we forgot to speak about the game block. Uh, in this game block, We've played Cape Town City away. In the next, our next three games are at home uh, against Galaxy, uh, Chiefs, and then Amazul. And then the last game of this game block is uh, Sikukune away. How many points now that we've picked up three? How many do you expect from this game block? I think we'll collect the maximum, which is uh, 15 points. <laughs> okay, I think, I think we'll get that in. I think the game that I want us to win the most is the game where we'll drop two points. But yeah, um, guys, please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we are almost on 200 subscribers. So let's get to 500 be, be, before the end of this month. Go to 500 subscribers. Tell everyone you know about the Yellow Corner. Let's uh, uh, help grow this uh, channel. And yeah, we'll keep on trying to bring you the best uh, uh, content possible. Man. Uh, like I said, this episode was proudly sponsored by Puri Solutions, a solar solutions company which offers various solar products. And so some of their services in uh, install and then maintain. So maintenance. So yeah, you can get in touch with them on Twitter at Puri Solutions. And yeah, I will be told to, like I said, a UPS and Obem Nati Oskanalwanaka load shedding. Dogish, when uh, when is the next preview? Thursday, ne? Yeah, first day, yeah, Chiefs. Looking forward to it. <laughs> uh, uh, can preview like when you are previewing any other team. Uh, I mean, uh, that that fixture it is a big fixture. I will feel you Yeah, Masanda, that's that, man. You will see us on Thursday when we bring you the preview of our game week three matches. We host. Uh, Kaiser Chiefs at Loftus. Until then, sharp, sharp. We'll see you then. Ula.